What a great story there, and happy birthday to him, 100 years old. Well, today is the first day of fall, even though it's not going to be really feeling like it, and people have been, you know, saying it's not feeling like fall. Well, it's kind of just what we should be experiencing, or what we've been experiencing over the past couple of years in West Texas, warm temperatures to start fall off, except last year. Last year, it was only 68 degrees to start fall. But other than 2018, 68, it's been in the 90s the last five years, 93 in 2015, 95, 2016, 96 in 2017. We'll be around 93 for your day today. So another warm start to fall once again for West Texas and pretty much the entirety of the country too. We're keeping it like summer, 81 in Kansas City, 83 today in Oklahoma City, 88 in Dallas, and 93 here in San Angelo for your Monday. So first day of fall feels like summer. PM storms mainly from San Angelo and points to the north into the big country. Rain chances stay with us through midweek and then above normal temperatures, they're with us to stay too. Temperatures each and every day this week will be in the 90s. Stepping out the door right now, 76 in Ballinger, 77 in Baird, 76 right now in Sweetwater. So a warm and muggy start once again throughout West Central Texas. Satellite and radar throughout the state of Texas. Well, Interstate 20 and points to the south. You're dry, you're clear this morning. For north of Interstate 20, got those scattered showers and a little bit of moderate to heavy rainfall as well, right along the Red River and in the northern big country as well. That's moving off to the north and away from our area. Zooming into the big country real quick. Well, got those showers from Jayton to Snyder to Post La Mesa. They're moving out of the area. We're going to dry out and bring out the sunshine for at least the first part of your day for the next couple hours. If you're south of Interstate 20, like I said, you're completely dry, no problems to start your day. And the rest of your day, well, partly to mostly cloudy conditions in those showers and a few heavier rain showers as well. From San Angelo, points to the north, and then that stays with us through the evening hours. 30, maybe 40% coverage of these showers and storms before we dry out after sunset, and we'll keep it mostly cloudy overnight tonight into your day on Tuesday. So today, 93 degrees, scattered PM storms for about 30% of the area. Tonight, we'll drop to the low right around 70 degrees, keeping those isolated storms with us for about 20% of us, and then we dry it out for the rest of the night. We stay with those PM scattered storms through Wednesday with that humidity in place, and then we dry out for the end of the week. Temperatures each and every day this week above average in the low to mid 90s.